Well, here we are again. Sorry, folks, about that previous video. It uh, camera kind of ran out of memory, so I had to stop recording. But here's a continuation. I wanted to show y'all how the production was and what it looked like when it was running. I'm gonna run over here and turn it on. Excuse my poor video. It's off of my little digital camera. Let me turn the key on. Now that it's running, of course you can probably hear the noise from the fuel pump. I can zoom in real good and you can actually see the uh, fluid flowing. And that's the actual electrolyte flowing through the core. Come over here. Of course the unit is cold right now. So, right now it's not actually going to be producing a whole lot. And I'll zoom in a little bit. You can kind of see some of the bubbles. Right away you can tell the positive has a lot more foam than what the negative side does, but if you look real closely you can actually see the bubbles coming up on the negative side. Like I say, hopefully my next uh, design will prove a lot better in performance. But if anybody else out there has any kind of ideas that I could add to this thing to make it better, be my guest. Leave your comments. Uh, you can comment, you can leave me messages. Now on this condenser, if anybody wants any more information on it, all it is is just a uh, cooling condenser out of a window air conditioner unit. I cut the lines off of it and kind of rebent the tubing to where it would face outward and zip tied it to the front of the radiator on my truck. That way every time the engine's running or if I'm traveling down the road there's always airflow going through those cores. But right now the way I have it set up it's uh, having the fuel pump running at all times. Hopefully I'd like to get a, some kind of temperature set up sensor on this unit to where it will, you know, turn on and off as the uh, temperature increases. And if you look at it now, it's, it's starting to produce. It's probably warming up a bit. But, of course, it's still pretty cool out here. It's, I think it's about 55 degrees outside right now, so it's... Of course, the truck hadn't ran all day. Of course, you can see my wire set up. I've got solid copper wire running all the way across there in front of a radiator. And it's coming over here. And what I have down here hidden by the battery, pull it out real quick so you can see it. There's two relays here. One relay is for the fuel pump, the other relay is for the actual generator. So I have those isolated. And then I have my main power line. I've got a fusible link here running the main power to the units themselves, the fuel pump and the unit. And then I have my trigger wire right here, and that's going up into my uh, ignition switch to power it on. So it's everything's wired up. Here in just a second, if I can find me a bottle, I'll show you the output. It's, like I say, if anybody's got some ideas that I how I can improve this setup, please leave your comments. Any any help and advice would be greatly appreciated. And maybe somebody can even benefit off of these, off of this setup here. Some of my ideas you can come up with. My plans are, after I complete this unit, I'm going to build another unit similar to this one, hopefully with a better output that will fit into a smaller vehicle. I've got another vehicle with a four-cylinder engine that hopefully we can get a lot better gas mileage on it. Normally I get on this truck, without this unit, I'd say about 12, 13 miles to the gallon without the AC running. And that's normal driving. 
around town. With the unit, I think I increased my fuel mileage by two miles per gallon, which wasn't a whole lot. But hopefully I can increase the fuel mileage on my wife's car. It, it's a little Dodge Neon, and it only gets maybe 22 miles per gallon. For a four-cylinder engine, I think it ought to get a lot better than that. But hopefully I can add one of these units to that vehicle and maybe I can get it up in the 30s. I oh, will see. We'll see. Signing off.